Okay, hello traders. So today we are back with another knowledge bomb for you. So today, um, the topic for today would be how to find um, strong levels using the higher time frame. So um, we're actually on the midst of um, developing our own trading course right now. And one of the things that we always look at um, in our analysis would always be the higher time frame levels. So um, if you have been trading for some time, you'll probably know that uh, analysis should always be done top down, meaning we start from the higher time frame, then we move down to a lower time frame. So now anyway, let's get into the video, into today's uh, lesson. So today we'll be teaching you how to use uh, equal distance channel. Okay, so um, before we start this lesson, I'd like to say that uh, strong levels is found on higher time frames. So what constitute higher time frames, right? So strong levels are found on higher time frames. Okay, so in our case, higher time frames are, okay, in our case, it will be the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. Okay, so these are our, our, our higher time frames. Okay, so as you can see now, we are in a euro dollar, we are in the day chart. Okay, so that constitutes as a higher time frame. So um, let me just explain the concept of equidistance channel. Okay, so um, based on our experience, we found that um, equidistance channel is actually stronger than a trend line. So a normal trend line would be something like this. Okay, right. So the reason why a equidistance channel is stronger than a trend line is because the equidistance channel has um, is symmetric. So if you trade for some time, you realize that the market is crazy about symmetry. Okay, so that is why, if possible, we always try to use an equal distance channel. So let me just show you um, how we use it. So wait, this is trading view. Um, so over here, let me see over here. Where is it? Okay, okay so over here, if you click over here, right, you have a parallel channel. Uh, you can bookmark it if you want. Yeah, if you bookmark it, it will be over here. Okay, so the way we do our equidistance channel is, um, let's say you're trying to find a resistance, okay? If you're trying to find a resistance, then you always start at the bottom, okay? As a general rule of thumb, if you're trying to find resistance, you start at the bottom, okay? Connect, right? Find two lows, connect it, then shift it up, okay? So we just have a few rules for you, right? Just a few guidelines. Let me just write it up here. Hmm. This channels, okay. So guidelines, okay. So the first guideline would be always start from the bottom, okay. That's step one. Step two, connect the second line, right? The second line, or rather the other channel. Mm, let me see the second line in between the first okay i think don't, i don't think that's the best explanation but um let me just show you after i'm done with this okay and the last one would be um yeah actually that's about it okay yep actually it's just two steps okay so let me just repeat this process one more time okay so we say if you're trying to find resistance start from the bottom connect this two okay then step two is connect the second line in between the first two. So you see that um, there's one point here, there's two points. Your job is to shift it up such that your third point is in the center of these two. Okay, center. So you shift it up, it, it, you get it nicely over here. Okay, so, um, yep. So, okay, maybe let me just, uh, let me just improve on this. So then, uh, start from higher time frame right day one week one as well as month one okay always step two always start from the bottom step three connect the second line in between the first two okay then if you are looking for resistance start from the bottom if you are looking for support start from the top okay 
So this is very, very, very useful, okay? Very useful for you to find levels. So if you look at Euro dollar right now, you understand why um, you know, price is actually being resisted, okay? And actually, if you look left, um, you can see that this entire zone over here is actually a previous support turn resistance, right? So it's very clear. So let me just show you another example. Okay, just uh, okay. Let's say um now um, just now we did resist. Since now let's say we do um you want support, you want to find support. Okay, so in this case, if um okay, let's say we take this and this. Okay, you ask yourself um where can you know where can I find support? You shift it down in between. Okay. So you put it over here, you see that you know price actually was supported here. Okay. So that's how you find uh, good levels, and of course, you use this together with market structure. Um, this zone here, okay. You look left, you realize that uh, there's actually a support over there. Okay, so this is very crucial. Let me just go through one more example before I sum up this video. So, um, what we recommend you to do after this video would be to uh, practice this on your own, okay. So that you're able to identify such levels. So as I said, now we're looking for support. So we start from uh, the top. Okay, we connect these two. Then we drag it down to in between this and this. So it's here. So if you see this, okay. Or maybe if we shift it up a bit. Just a moment. Okay, so here. Okay, so shift it up. Shift it down, okay. You'll probably find support in this case, um, you know, it's not too good. But um, I just want to say that uh, when it comes to equal distance channel, there's a lot of experimenting. Um, you know, you have to play with it. You know, shift it here, shift it down, you know. Just shift it around and then um, you can see over here once it's broken, right, it's retested. Let's shift it. Okay. So we hope um, this lesson is just a very short one to help you identify. Uh, identifying key levels okay if you have not watched our other videos about how to find key levels using um you know using the uh, website the cme group website right using uh, futures make sure you check out that one because that one is pretty straightforward this one there's a lot of experience involved you need to try right and there's no fixed answer some people may draw it you know they may draw it this way they may draw it another way you know so this is really subjective right you might draw it this way you know so there's no wrong, no right, but when it comes to our previous video, the one that we covered about, um, that is pretty, you know, it's pretty straightforward. So definitely check out that video. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think. If there's any questions you have, we'll be happy to address them. So we'll see you in the next video.